Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your first repository on GitHub and how to actually upload that repo, storing your computer into GitHub. That way you can show off to everybody you work and potentially to your employers as well. So we're going to start creating a repository on GitHub.com, right? If you don't have an account, go ahead and make an account. It's free and it's really simple to do it. Now we're going to go, go create a repository, create a repository name. We're going to give them whatever name you want for your repository. Then you can create a description, say this is a little description, you can make it public. If you want it private, you have to pay for it, but public, you know, it's good enough for now. And then you click create repository, simple enough. Now, you know, there's a couple instructions to follow, but there's some things that are missing. So we're going to work on that. So like I said, I'm already working on a, uh, on a project. So you go, if you, have, if you don't have a project, go ahead and make a folder and make a couple of files and after that, then you know, can follow these instructions. So like I said, we got fading cubes, go into the folder. Uh, I want to show you something right now. As you can see, there's only four files over here. If you start, forget to start tracking of everything, we have to create, we have to uh, get to initialize that. So the command for that is get in it. Then you see L, now it creates a folder of get in it, which is pretty much where everything is being tracked, where everything is being stored, all the information that Git is keeping track of. Now we want to add all the files, get add everything, that's the asterisk for meaning everything in the folder wants to be added, that way Git keeps track of that. Then you do that, get status, meaning all oh, new file, remain new file, blah blah blah. So now Git is tracking every single file. If you don't want to track every single file, just go get add and specify which file you want to do. Uh, if you want to add every single file, go ahead and get add in the asterisk, which means everything. The command pretty much means that you can say first commit, and that pretty much um, tells you know to get that everything is good to go. So if you see get status, it says nothing to commit, working directory clean. So pretty much if you're working with files or something, and if you don't want to actually push it into the main branch, master branch, um, you know you can you can leave it there. Um, Talking about branches and all that is a different topic that I want to discuss now because I don't want to get you too crazy into that. This is pretty much um, just a video on how to uh, push this repository into GitHub. That way you have it online. That way you have it stored in GitHub. Um, I will do another video to explain a little bit more about what branches are and how to work with them. So for now, everything is committed. Everything is good. So we do. Uh, and we, we want to work with a remote repository. So we tell Git that we have to add that repository, add origin, and then HTTPS, um, sorry, slash slash GitHub slash your username uh, and the name of your project, that Git, just like here. It tells you that. Go ahead and do that. Git remote add origin HTTPS. So we do that, it's good to go. So now we do git push origin to master. It's gonna ask you for username, you go and type your username and your password, right? So we go there, we do that. Everything's being pushed to GitHub. Uh, we clean that, now we do a refresh. We're gonna wait a little bit for it. And now, as you can see, fading cubes, all the files for the first commit coming is being pushed into GitHub. Now you can work on your files from there. Um, you can tell people, hey, you know what, this project that I've been working on, you wanna help me out? Or if you want, you know, to show off your work, that's a good way to to use GitHub as well. You know, to have a little portfolio, show everybody what you're doing, um, you know, help, you know, the community as well, you know, look some for some code and show you code people learn you learn so yeah um simple video if you have any questions please leave a message um or you can shoot me an email at coder at all right guys thank you very much take care have a good one bye